guys, it's Juno, and today's video is going to be a little bit more serious than you're used to seeing me. Uh, today is World Mental Health Day. It's something that I am extremely passionate about. I think taking care of your mental health is of the utmost importance, and I want to use my platform today to sort of deep dive into that. As a lot of you guys know, or if this is your first time here, I moved to LA to be an actor. Harvey, can I talk to you about something that is Serious? Always, babe. And I signed up for an improv class. That was one of the first things I did when I moved out to LA. I always thought that would be a really great way to get involved in the space that I wanted to be in and learn how to get my funny on. And I was honestly really surprised on the first day when my teacher in the first class mentioned that three of her former students had committed suicide. And if any of us needed help to please seek help through the improv course, and they even offered therapy as part of the course. And it had me thinking about how easy it is to look at the world around us, especially with social media, and compare ourselves to other people and sort of spiral and let our mind wander and portray a guise of happiness when we're not necessarily actually that happy all the time. Sometimes life can be really hard and we're oftentimes conditioned not to ask for help when we need it. And I guess I just wanted to make a video to show you that even me, who may come across as bubbly and happy all the time, I'm not always that way. You're seeing a highlight reel when you look on YouTube. You're not seeing the days when I'm crying because people have left me the worst comments ever, uh, telling me horrible things. And I know it's just online bullies, but as I'm sure you know, being in high school or being online too, bullying can really get to you. Everyone is going through something, no one's life is perfect, you never know whose parents are getting divorced or who just failed a class that they were working so hard in and who is having issues with body image. I think it's very easy to get caught up in all that and easy to avoid asking for help when you need it. When I first moved to LA, I was so excited to be here and I quickly fell into a little bit of a depression. You guys didn't see it online because I wasn't posting about it. It's actually sort of the reason I turned to YouTube because I was so disappointed in the reality of the audition atmosphere out here that I wanted to do something else to feel better. Basically, I went into one of my first auditions and I had spent hours rehearsing for it. I felt so confident walking in the room and the casting director told me that she didn't like the way I looked which was really painful to hear at the time because it was something that was totally out of my control but it still made me feel horrible about myself and I think sometimes the way we view ourselves and body image plays into our mental health and at that time in my life it was something that really contributed negatively to my mental health space especially when it relates to something you're passionate about like a craft where it involves a skill to have some outlying factor unrelated to the skill in influencing whether or not you can do what you love, it's a huge bummer. But I found ways to help myself through those moments and recognize that there's only so much I can control that I have to focus more on what I can control versus what I can't and what people think of me. You never know what the people around you are going through and sometimes you might be the shoulder to cry on, someone might need your support and if you're able to give it to them, you never know who you might be able to help. Speaking from my own personal experience, I had a friend who confided in me that she was feeling suicidal and she asked me not to tell anybody. And it put me in a weird position because she was one of my best friends and I didn't want to breach her trust. But when somebody's confiding something like that in you, you have to take it seriously, I realized that me keeping that secret could mean that she might act on those tendencies and I want my friend to be alive. So I got her the help she needed by telling her mom and her mom was able to get her into therapy and get her the help she needed. So if you have a friend who's confiding in you that they're feeling suicidal and they ask you to keep it a secret, I want to encourage you to seek help from an adult. I know what it's like to be in that position and feel conflicted because you don't want to sacrifice your friendship with that person. Person, but at the end of the day, their life is so much more important and I promise you, they will thank you for getting them the help they needed. 
If you guys need help, I've listed a resource below. I'm obviously not a professional. I'm just here to encourage you to get the help you need, to ask for help when you need it, and that resource is down below. In short, I just wanna say, it's okay to not be okay. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's having an 100% amazing week all the time. Feel your feelings and get the help you need. Treat yourself well, be kind to yourself. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. For me, when I want to help myself, sometimes that means reading a book, other times that means binge eating ice cream on my couch, whatever way you find productive for you to get the self-help you need I encourage you to do that today and every other day it's okay to not be okay I love you guys and I'm not the only one who loves you you have a lot of love in your life I'll see you guys next time